Hello and welcome to Bear News, where you get the bear facts, also known as uh, Boo News. Now, guys, we have an insane story for you today. There is a 13-year-old with an ASMR channel called Life with Mac. She's a very successful ASM artist with over a million subscribers, having tons and tons of videos with over a million views each. And now she says she quits YouTube. And we're going to be getting into this on today's episode. Now let's jump right into it. ASM artist Mac has a mother who is very involved in her channel. And she told BuzzFeed, I don't need YouTube to parent my child for me. She's fine on YouTube. Because what's going on is YouTube is actually taking away comments on videos when they feel like... Uh, people who are perverted maybe comment on videos with children in them, and they don't want that, which I do understand. However, now YouTube is actually removing some of her videos just because they're ASMR. Now, of course, Mac had no intention of these videos being perceived as sexual at all in any way, which I can't blame her or her mother for because AMR ASMR is simply a genre. Sadly, YouTube does attract some people who we don't want on our platform, and ASMR is just one of those genres. She says that now 12 videos in the past three months have been removed from YouTube. Just simply innocent videos of her tapping on cans or whatever, and eating sticky foods like honeycomb. This video with the honeycomb had almost 14 million views, which, if you calculate that, that could have been over $30,000 in ad revenue. YouTube says that sticky foods can be perceived as sexual. Now, in my opinion, YouTube could say that about literally any video. However, to choose a sticky food, I don't quite understand. I can't wrap my mind around this, but I knew that it was coming all along that YouTube would eventually crack down on ASM artists. Max says that she shouldn't be punished for something she enjoys doing. And I completely agree with that. I think there should be a category for ASMR people on YouTube to be able to do um, because I would guess that the majority of people watching the vid these videos aren't perverted. YouTube declined to comment on this. However, Life with Mac herself says she's probably going to be switching to Twitch. Even if she has to play video games, she's all for it. ASMR is something that people experience tingles from listening to. That's the whole idea. It's supposed to trigger some response system in the brain to cause your arms and legs to tingle sometimes when you hear this soft voice. And this has just left YouTube with a question that has lingered for so many years as to where they draw the line. And it seems at this point that they're trying to draw the line with sticky types of food. I'm not sure why. YouTube has also deleted some of Mac's videos where she's pretending to eat dish soap and dish sponges. Now, clearly, these were actually food items just made to look like that, and it was even mentioned in the description that these are safe to eat. But YouTube doesn't want anything dangerous, possibly inspiring kids to repeat the same thing, which I can understand. However, I do want to know your thoughts, and you can let me know down in the comments below whether you think this is right or wrong for YouTube to draw the line where they're drawing it. Guys, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ding my bell, because you want to stay up to date on the latest news, and of course you want to know when I go live, it can get pretty crazy. YouTube has also demonetized my channel, so one thing you could do to help is in my top end comment, you can request a cameo, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at RealGodOfCringe. If you send anything to my PO Box down in the description, I will open it at the end of each video, shouting you out. Thank you so much for watching. Bear News, where are you? Get the bear facts, also known as uh, Poo News, and I'll see you in the next video.